poems, all with the last uh, character poems, fictional poems, all with these characters who have the last name William, you know? Um, it's funny, I just did this show and these Vietnamese women rolled up to me like, why isn't it the trans? <laughs> you know, because they were trans. I was like, that's the sequel, you gotta wait for the sequel. Um, but you know, the, the reason I started writing these poems is, you know, like, you know, I get to perform a lot, I've been doing this for a long time, and when I would perform, you know, people would come up to me and be like, oh, you're Vietnamese, right? So, do you know Tony Nguyen from the Bay? You know, because they assume we're all together. You know, like, we're all related and shit. And you know what's fucked up is you, sometimes you know that person, <laughs> right? You're like, waiting for them to say something, like, say something racist, say it. Just wait, I'm gonna yell at you, and like, oh yeah. Tony Wiggins, like, that's my cousin! Oh. But you know, I, I just, I started writing these poems because I wanted to think about these questions. What is the Vietnamese American experience? And I didn't write these poems to give you an answer. I actually am in favor of multiple voices and multiple stories. Because I think what happens with those of us who are marginalized people, right, is that the powers that be decide that there's one story worth listening to, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the rest of us who don't fit into that story get lost in the shuffle. And so this is my attempt to explode all of that and kind of embrace the contradictions. So this is the Williams and it's a bunch of short poems. Me says that her family teases her for having thick, round legs like a boy, but really, she is the perfect autumn night sky trapped in a woman's body. When she laughs, you feel night wind blowing through leaves, making them blush and change color. When she laughs, you feel the breath of stars and lunar eclipses under her eyelids. Johnny dances to songs he only half understands in English. His hairstyle's like one and a half decades out of style. And maybe that brother should just button up that silk shirt where he's wearing with like one or two buttons more, please. But he's just spent 10 hours a day at his job under American cars, fixing them up for people who assumed his goo gas was sabotaging their shit. So who the fuck are you to tell him anything about the clothes he's wearing at the club? Viet is, as her name suggests, Vietnamese as fuck. <laughs> She only eats Vietnamese food, watches Vietnamese films, speaks fluent Vietnamese, reads Vietnamese literature, hangs out with Vietnamese people, only dates Vietnamese people, and is bisexual so she can be attracted to twice as many Vietnamese people. <laughs> she drives a Korean car, which is as close as she can get. <laughs> Huey's real name is Huey, and he tells you he may be a descendant of the Wayan Kings, but he's all queen, baby, recognize. <laughs> he's been on his feet all day at his job, at the casino, sliding playing cards like ninja stars across green felt tables, and he wishes he forget the look on those faces. Their dreams of fortune crash with the gentle sounds of cards flipping onto their bellies. Bok Chong doesn't reply when you say come on for your bowl of pho because it's just her in this place every goddamn day from 8 a.m. to midnight. So it's her right to take your money and give you your basil, mint, bean sprout, lemon platter and hate your fucking guts from the safety of her kitchen. Tui's daddy is a Buddhist and her mama is a Catholic and tonight she's holding up a rum and coke and toasting to non-denominational sin, baby. No, she would not like to dance with your goofy looking ass, but thank you for asking. <laughs> She's in this club to be seen, and to chain smoke American spirit cigarettes like the burning embers are beacons to paradise dangling just out of reach at the tip of her nose. And her best friend, Vin, who's been in love with her since the fifth grade, sits with her at that bar like he does every night. And though he wishes he was a cigarette filter so he could know the stain of her lipstick kiss, he says nothing. He has given up on this love shit. But he has not given up on Long Island iced teas. <laughs> and tomorrow, though fully clothed, he'll wake up and find many dollar bills stuck in his underpants and he won't remember how they got there. <laughs> Last name, we and all of them. They sell cars in Orange County. They sell shoes in Queens. They go to spoken word shows in Los Angeles. Also from White Bear Lake to Frogtown, Minnesota. They draw their way in your heart to Virginia and Texas. Lost everything to Katrina in New Orleans. Fight for their lives every day in Boston. Baked mango cheesecakes in Oakland and San Francisco. Where they live affects how they feel about the weather and whether or not they say yes when you ask them to step out of their front door for some late night karaoke or Chinese food. They sneak bummy sandwiches in the bad movies. 
<laughs> and they don't see themselves up on that silver screen enough to wish that they were on them. They gamble too much, and they smoke too much, and they look great playing billiards, and their feet hurt, but they've been working all day, and they're none of your motherfucking business. They're one story for every Vietnamese body, one song for every voice that sings or otherwise. Every Vietnamese name is like a tattoo we all wear proud, a burst of color we dig deep into our skins. <laughs>